This was the first country to declare its independence from the Soviet Union. Today we're looking at Lithuania, a nation with a rich cultural heritage and a fascinating blend of traditions. As Lithuania paved its path to freedom, join us on this journey to uncover its lesser-known treasures, delve into its history and experience the beauty of this country. Lithuania is a country located in northeastern Europe, bordering the Baltic Sea to the west, Latvia to the north, Belarus to the east and southeast, and Poland to the south. With an area of 65,300 square kilometers, Lithuania is larger than Denmark, but smaller than Ireland. Lithuania is divided into five main geographical regions. The western and eastern lowlands cover about two-thirds of the country and consist of plains, hills and valleys. Central Lithuanian lowland is the lowest part of Lithuania. It has many rivers, lakes and swamps. The largest river is the Nemunas. Southeastern Highlands has low rounded hills covered in forests. The highest point is Okštojus Hill at 294 meters. The coastal region is the Baltic Sea coastline that stretches for 90 kilometers. The Koronian Spit, a 98 kilometer sand dune peninsula, separates the Koronian Lagoon from the Baltic Sea. The northern region has many lakes and forests and is sparsely populated. Glaciers shaped Lithuania's landscape during the last ice age. Its varied terrain, wild areas, coastline and four distinct seasons make it rich in biodiversity. The country's location between Eastern and Western Europe gives it a unique environmental and cultural heritage. Lithuania is home to almost 3 million people according to World Bank estimates. Lithuania's population reflects its history and geographic location at the crossroads of Eastern and Western Europe. Ethnic Lithuanians make up about 84% of the population. They are descendants of Baltic tribes that settled the region in prehistoric times. Lithuania also has minority groups, including Poles, Russians, Belarusians and Ukrainians. Most minorities live in urban areas and border municipalities. The main religion in Lithuania is Roman Catholicism, practiced by 77% of the population. Catholicism played a large role in preserving national identity during times of foreign rule. Protestantism and Russian Orthodoxy are other Christian denominations. Lithuania also has small Muslim, Jewish and Karait communities. Lithuanian is the official state language and mother tongue for about 82% of the population. Minority languages like Russian, Polish and Belarusian are also spoken. Many Lithuanians speak English and other European languages as well. Lithuanian cuisine features hearty comfort foods, often made from simple local ingredients like potatoes, grains, meat and dairy. Rye bread, beetroot, cabbage, mushrooms and herring are dietary staples. Culinary traditions reflect Lithuania's agricultural heritage and long winters. Let's explore some classic Lithuanian dishes. Cepelinai are dense potato dumplings made from grated and riced potatoes stuffed with meat or cottage cheese then boiled. They are a beloved national dish often served with sour cream, crispy fried bits of pork fat or bacon sauce. Kepta duona is a fried bread dish made by pan frying slices of dense dark rye bread in oil or pork fat until crispy. The bread develops a rich flavor and satisfying crunch. Beetroot soup. This vivid pink-purple soup features shredded boiled beets in a broth made from meat, vegetables and often cream. Beetroot is a Lithuanian staple, so beet soup star in many daily meals. Versions range from chilled to hot, meatless to meat-based. Lithuania has a long and intricate history with the Lithuanian people developing a distinct culture and ethnic identity over many centuries. 
Located between Germany and Russia, Lithuania's history has been greatly impacted by the regional powers surrounding it. The early history of Lithuania begins with the Balts, an Indo-European people settling the region. The first written reference to Lithuania came from the Holy Roman Empire in 1009 CE. In the 13th century, Mindaugas united various Baltic tribes and established the Kingdom of Lithuania in 1253 CE. The kingdom adopted Christianity under Mindaugas, who was crowned as its first king. The Kingdom of Lithuania controlled territory far beyond ethnic Lithuanian lands. In the 13th and 14th centuries, through alliance with Poland, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania was formed. At its peak, it stretched from the Baltic to the Black Sea. The state adopted the Polish language and Catholic faith of its allies. But Lithuania maintained its own nobility, laws and identity within the alliance. In 1569, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth was established by uniting Poland and Lithuania under one monarch. The Commonwealth grew into one of the largest states in Europe before neighboring powers dismantled it through a series of partitions in the late 18th century. This ended Polish-Lithuanian statehood until 1918. Lithuania declared independence after World War I in 1918. The new state was recognized by the Treaty of Versailles. Lithuania enjoyed two decades as an independent nation before the Soviet Union annexed and occupied it during World War II. Nazi Germany also occupied Lithuania from 1941 to 1944. At the end of the war, the Soviets re-established control. In 1990, Lithuania became the first Soviet Republic to declare independence. After a tense confrontation with the Soviets, Lithuania finally regained independence in 1991. Since then, Lithuania has transitioned to a market economy and has joined both NATO and the European Union. Over the past few decades, Lithuania has transitioned from a centralized economy to a modern free market economy, allowing it to join the European Union and increase prosperity. As of 2022, its GDP is roughly $70 billion according to the World Bank. After regaining independence in 1990, Lithuania moved from a Soviet-style planned economy to a market economy. Privatization of state-owned enterprises and liberalization quickly shifted Lithuania to a system based on supply and demand. By the mid-1990s, the majority of enterprises were privately owned. The service sector dominates Lithuania's economy, employing about two-thirds of the workforce. Leading services include trade, finance and business operations, manufacturing, including food processing, machinery, chemicals and wood products, employs around a fifth of workers. Lithuania's main export partners are Russia, Latvia, Poland, Germany and Estonia. Key exports include refined fuel, machinery, food products, plastics, fertilizers and chemicals. Lithuania imports machinery, vehicles, chemicals and mineral products chiefly from Russia, Germany, Poland and Latvia. Lithuanian culture is one of the oldest in Europe with roots in folk traditions and influenced by the country's eventful history. Lithuania's unique culture comes through in its art and music. Lithuanian art dates back to the 13th century and was long sponsored by the Roman Catholic Church. Gothic style prevailed in early religious art and architecture, as exemplified by the Vilnius Cathedral and Trakai Island Castle. In the early 20th century, Lithuanian art shifted towards realism, art nouveau, and symbolism inspired by folk motifs, as seen in works by Michalogius Constantinus Ciurlionis. Lithuanian folk music remains very popular today. Rural acoustic bands play traditional instruments like pipes, zithers, and fiddles. Lyrical two-voice melodies 
often in minor keys, typify Lithuanian folk songs. Most songs follow one of two types, sutatines or dinos. If you enjoyed this video on Lithuania, you'll love this next one.